better be good. It is. I think I know where to find the answers, Tad. Answers? Yeah. To what Papel wanted from me all this time. Tad, I think I might finally get to know why I lost 20 years of my life. Well, baby, that's beautiful. That's great. Sign me up. Where do we start looking? My grave. You OK? Me? <laughs> You're the one who spent her day saving lives. And you spent it terrified for someone that you care about. Yeah. Who, Adam? You know, I've heard a little bit about your relationship with him from you and Tad. Yeah, I'm sure Tad had nothing but nice things to say. Not that I, not that I blame him, I mean. He's entitled to every ounce of hatred he has for that man, considering what he did to Jenny. I'm sure Ted hates Adam for what he's done to you also. Oh, uh, just coffee. <sighs> Thank me, you. Me too. Well, yeah, we've had our moments, Adam and me. Some of them really good. Now, why do you say that? You were really worried about him today, Crystal. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> as evil as he is, I don't want to see the old goat die. Well, are you sure it's not more than that? I mean, I'm just curious after what I saw today. Does Tad know how you really feel about Adam Chandler? Curious? Or are you really concerned? I guess I am. Thank you. Thank you. Look, <laughs> Angie, you don't have to worry about Tad and me, okay? It's taken us a while to get where we are, but we we fully understand one another, especially on the topic of Adam Chandler. So Tad knows. <laughs> Look, I mean, don't get me wrong. There is a part of him that would love to see Adam Chandler take the shortcut to hell, but he gets where I'm coming from. And where is that? I mean, I mean, what kind of pull are we talking about? <sighs> the kind of pull that would just like to see the man take care of himself for his children's sake. But you did love Adam once upon a time. Yes, yes, I, I did love Adam. But loving Adam is like playing with fire. Pretty soon, you're gonna get burned. Yeah. To a smoldering crisp, in my case. Angie, you do not have to worry about Tad, okay? I know what a good thing I have. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, when I came home and found that he was some with someone like you, it just made me so happy. He's an amazing man, Tad Martin. And he's just been through so much. Dixie and Kate. One nightmare after the other. Well, then I think that uh, Tad deserves nothing but good dreams from here on out. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you on that. You're a good friend to him. You know that? Just trying to return the favor. You're kidding, right? This is the favor you wanted to ask me. Hey, Tad, how's it going? I don't know what you're into tonight, but if you got the time, would you help me dig up my 20-year-old grave? Are you serious? Dead serious. No. That's not funny. What happened? Your Uncle Robert came by. Oh, Lord, why am I not surprised? We talked about what Papel wanted from me and how he could have been buried hey, with hey, whatever hey, hey, secrets hey, wait, wait, we had. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that my Uncle Robert inspired this little theme? What was buried at my funeral, Tad? Something had to be in that casket. It could explain everything. Maybe. OK, maybe. So I'll tell you what we do, OK? We call Derek. We have the cops dig you up. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't been in contact with you anyway, right? That, that's procedure when somebody gets resurrected, isn't it? Yeah. That's why we don't have much time, man. What is that supposed to mean? I want to get there before the police do, Tad. Oh, God in heaven, why? We don't know how Papel could have been connected, right? Right? R right, okay, right. So what if he was connected with somebody on the force? 
and they got out to the grave and dug up the casket before we got there and were able to cover up whatever was in the casket, Tad. Sweetheart, you are really reaching. You know that, right? Whatever. Bottom line is, I need to fly under the radar with this, and I really need your help. No. Hell no. I don't think I've ever been this comfortable before. <laughs> what? What's that look? I, I, just the way that you talk about it. Comfortable. I don't know, makes it sound like you and Tad are more like roommates than uh, husband and wife. No, no, listen, don't, don't get me wrong. We know how to have fun if that's what you're asking. I am proud to be Tad's wife. I adore him, okay? We may not have the love story that you and Jesse have, but we we have something. Well, then here's just something. <laughs> so, uh, now that I've uh, brought him up, how is Jesse? Uh, he's, he's doing great. Thanks. He's calmed down, settled in, everything's back to normal. Oh, whatever that is. I mean, he, he, he is starting to let go of what happened to him, little by little. Too bad he just can't erase it all in one fell swoop. Oh, don't I wish. But at least he's agreed to stop digging for more trouble. Oh, 